Hi, this is Mary Beth at Stencil Girl Products. I am here to talk about these Lindy's products today. They are really, really fun. These sprays I love, and then these little magicals, which are these powders that really pack a punch, and this is a magical powder in a shaker bottle, and then an embossing powder. I want to show you some experimentation with these products so you could get ideas of what you might do with them. So without further ado, I'm going to get a piece of paper out and I'm going to just play and show you some ways I experiment with stuff to see, you know, what it's going to do for me. So first of all, I'm going to put some water over here and I'm going to just on the end of a paintbrush get a little bit of that. <laughs> Look at that powder. Whoa, is that ever gorgeous. This is the magical powder, and it is indeed magical. That color is Tibetan poppy teal. And what you maybe can or cannot see, I'm gonna bring it up close in the hopes that you can see it, is it's just a tiny bit metallic, and it's also a couple different shades of kind of blue and green, and I mean, it is to die for beautiful, just beautiful. So that's what it does when you just put a few little, you know, few little crumbs of it on water. So you can use it as a watercolor paint. You can also mix it into, this is um, collage medium. So you could mix it into collage medium. Let's use a different color this time and we'll see how gorgeous it can be. Let's use red hot poker orange just because I'm dying to see what it looks like here. So look at that. So let's say you wanna glue something down and you just don't want it to look like it's normal self you can add this to it and glue it down and put a tint right there on top of it. Pretty nice, eh? Love the idea of that. I'm gonna wipe my brush off and then I'm gonna take a look at what it looks like with gesso. Let's put a little bit of gesso down. So let's say you wanna gesso a journal page. And I've done this with these before, where I just spread the gesso across the page, and then I either sprinkle the powders or spritz the sprays in it. That's a tongue twister, spritz the sprays. But look how pretty it is when you put the gesso in it now. So pretty. So, you know, you essentially can make your own paints. I mean, you could add different colors to this. Let's see what a little bit of this yellow, this yellow one's one of my favorites, so I'll just put a little bit of the yellow on there. And look how it's blending up with that green. I think I've still got a little bit of that orange on my brush also. But you just get an idea of the versatility of the product. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing to me, the things that you can do with it. So those are just three things. The next thing I tried with these powders is I tried to make my own alcohol inks and I couldn't get the powder to fully blend up with the alcohol. You can see here it's still separated a little bit. When you shake it, of course it blends up. And this is the green. But you still get a little bit of a granulated appearance. So I, I don't know, I don't know if I was doing something wrong or not. But it's a nice effect in my journal. It spreads out and it blooms and it does create a very nice effect. So it's still got some potential, I shall say. Yes, yes, yes. Now let's look at these sprays. This one is Azure Sea Asters. And these are gorgeous, just gorgeous. Look at that color. Now let's say you wanna put a little bit of powder with the spray it's gonna just kind of disperse on there, maybe add a little bit more water, or maybe add a little bit of a different spray. I mean, you can see the options here. You can get some drift effects if you do this, and the products all work together. They all work great 
with any of the usual things that I use in my art. Here's some yellow ochre from Golden. So let's put this down. This is a fluid acrylic. And let's move some of it over here. I'm gonna add some spray to one of them and I'm gonna add some powder to the other. So let's add this maple crimson to the one side. And look at how it totally transforms that yellow ochre paint. Gorgeous, right? You could add some water to this, and then what's going to happen is that your little granulated powders are going to bleed out a little bit in the different colors that are contained within it. Look how you got that pop of blue. That's something that's part of that April, autumn maple crimson, and it's popping up there. Fantastic, right? I mean, what's not to love about that? And then we've got the yellow ochre here. Let's mix it with, let's try some of this green with it and see how it looks. There's the green. Let's see if we can mix it up. It is taking a little bit of the green. It's also sitting on top of the ochre, which is pretty cool looking. I'm gonna to try to add one of these other metallics over here. This is Golden Dublin's. This is one that I really like. It goes brown. It goes kind of brown metallic. But look at the earthiness that you can get here. And let's try dropping in some of this copper. All I'm using is just some copy paper to play with here. I just like to see what is gonna happen when I use these products in different ways. So this is often what I do when I first get some new products and I sort of play around with them like that. I think there's a lot of potential here. I just love these, love, love, love. So let me show you a few things that I've made where I've used the, the Lindy's products. This is an encaustic piece that I made when I was with my friend Glenda Miles and these little dots in the color underneath the wax is from the Lindy's sprays. And that's when I bought this set of sprays. That's the green that I was using, the sea, sea mint green. And then Cockle Bell's Coral is kind of that pink tone. You can see it there in the background a little bit. It's so pretty. The subtlety it adds to the color of the encaustic medium, it's just, it was so stunning. I was really, really pleased with how it looked. Another area where I've used this is in this very subtle pastel result. I took a, just a credit card, an old room key card, and I put white gesso on both sides of these, and then I just sprinkled powders and sprayed some paste, tiny amount, and let it, it's not quite dry yet, but it's going to dry down and be a lovely background for me. And that'll be a nice background on a journal page. Here's another one where I did the same thing. I started out with white gesso, and then I used this little shaker container of the yodeling yellow, and then I went back and I used the Tibetan poppy teal just as a watercolor on top. So you can get beautiful results here with these powders and with these sprays, and I think that it, it would be really nice to just travel with a group of them and a water brush and then you have beautiful watercolor paints to use while you're on the road because I have found it to be so difficult to travel these days with paint. The airlines just really don't like them. So, And honestly, this one right here, I think I'm probably going to have to um, maybe cut out because that little section right there is pretty darn cool. All right, so one last thing I want to show you is grunge paste. This is a Paper Artsy product that is a, um, it's a texture medium. And I'm going to put a little of it over here. And I'm going to color it 
with, let's use this copper because I think it'll be very pretty. And I'm just mixing it up with this, um, this kind of a palette thing. Now this is so interesting when you mix it this way with the powder because you can see every single color as it separates out. It is just fascinating, fascinating. But what I was thinking is this is the perfect thing to use with a stencil and you can get a textured result that'll dry down beautifully in your artwork or your journal or whatever else you're using. This grunge paste is a real nice texture medium and it starts out this color, then I added the copper and I transformed it completely into a new color. So try these Lindy's products. I think you're gonna like them. I hope you've enjoyed my little presentation on some, a variety of ways that you can use the Lindy's products in your work. Thanks for watching.